A new study shows that women in long-term relationships are more likely to experience a decrease in sexual satisfaction. Here to comment is our own Leslie Jones. Hi, Leslie. So why do you think women in relationships have trouble sexually? Well, it's because men don't correctly learn how to satisfy a woman, Colin. Like a couple of weeks ago, I was at the New York City FC soccer game. And I was sitting in my section with a whole bunch of New York Knicks players. They was all six foot nine, big old hands, <laughs> big old feet, <laughs> big old necks, <laughs> big old chesses, <laughs> long ass fingers, <laughs> long yeah, ass. Yeah, we know we get, we know where it's going. Yes, we got it. Of course you do, your little salty oyster cracker. <laughs> Call me a cracker. <laughs> You're an edible cracker. <laughs> and I saw all these young dudes, you know, who looked like they was born after Martin was canceled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I thought to myself, what a waste of good equipment. <laughs> you know? They don't know what to do with it, but I do. I got 30 years in the game, homie. <laughs> so I realized that I can help them. I can coach them, you know? I could be like a hung like a horse whisperer. <laughs> and I whisper to all shapes and sizes. I've even whispered to a few ponies. You know? <laughs> it don't matter what size it is. Don't lie to us about what you packing. Because we're going to see it eventually. <laughs> and it will disappoint us. Do not promise me a rack of ribs and then show up with a little penis. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to lie anyway, because most men are fine. My entire life, I've only seen, like, two or three you might call, like, you know, travel size. <laughs> but even if that's all you got, own it. Even a thumb drive can hold a lot of that. <laughs> Step it up in other ways. The thing men today... <laughs> is confidence. You got to have confidence. Confidence is sexy. Back in the day, we had confident, strong men, like the Marlboro Man and the Bronny Paper Towel Dude <laughs> or Mr. Clean. You know, those was real men. I mean, they're literally not real men. <laughs> Shut up! Because <laughs> the only thing we got now is that cheap-ass Travago dude. Always trying to get me to go to some discount motel room. <laughs> or that creepy ass Captain Obvious. The only thing obvious about him is that he got a couple of bodies in his trunk. <laughs> that ain't sexy and it definitely ain't confident. You gotta have confidence about yourself. And whatever equipment you got, you gotta believe in it. You gotta see your equipment through our eyes. <laughs> So, for all the dudes walk, watching right now, go get a mirror. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> now, pull your pants down. <laughs> raise your shirt up. Don't pull your shirt all the way off. Just raise it up. <laughs> put your shirt under your chin like this. <laughs> and take the mirror and put it in front of your junk like this. <laughs> and to quote Maya Angelou, No matter the size, in between your thighs, you can still rise. Leslie Jones, everyone.